Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here. I hope you're having a good day. I'm still working on this QNAP TS364. I did the first part. If you haven't seen the video, it's on the channel. The link is in the description. So I'm working on this and as you can see, it's right now on top of my old NAS. I have four terabyte in this old NAS that I have to copy in the new NAS. I'll show you how I do that. But I decided to add um, a two terabyte SSD in an empty spot that I left. If you watch the last video, the empty spot, I'm going to fill it with the two terabyte SSD that we're going to pick up uh, together really soon. I'm planning to use it for virtual machines, databases, and maybe a website. So it won't be mixed with my files on the hard drive. So it's gonna be uh, on its own disk that I'm going to add. What I'm thinking is, this um, NAS has a 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet port. And here you can see my UDM SE as well as my USW PoE, uh, 24 PoE. This is my main switch and this is my main uh, firewall from Ubiquiti. So how am I going to connect the QNAP to the switch without losing any speed or any bandwidth? Because right now, I don't have any 2.5 gigabit per second port on this switch here. And I want this to communicate at 2.5 gigabit per second with my main desktop, the Windows computer that I have. I'm going to show it to you uh, really soon. So I cannot connect it directly to the switch because it's going to be downgrading the bandwidth. So I'll have to find a solution to connect it directly to the desktop. And that's where QNAP helped me with the switch. Let me show you. And by the way, this is the desktop that I was talking about. This is my uh, desktop customized that I built with you on this channel. So you might have um, you might have seen it before if you've been uh, following me. And if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you like the video and you subscribe to the channel so you can have all my future videos. So I want to talk about this QSW21042S. This is a switch from QNAP, the QSW series. This one comes with four 2.5 gigabit per second ports, as you can see here, as well as two 10 gig ports. This is helpful. This is what I'm going to use to make sure that I have high speed or high bandwidth, at least 2.5, between my desktop here and my NAS. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to place it in the house. This switch is unmanaged, which means that you cannot do any kind of configuration here. It's, it comes as it is. You just plug in your devices and they start talking to each other. You don't have any configuration, any VLANs or anything that you have to do. Whatever VLAN you throw it in, it doesn't add any tag. It will just forward uh, whatever packet it receives. It's not a problem, it's fine. At least for my use here, I don't need it to be managed. You know, this one will do the job. So as you can see, it's very small. I'll leave you a link to it down in the description. So let me show you where I'm going to put this switch here. This is my storage area in the house. So don't judge me because it's very messy. I'm gonna show you some of my things. Yep, so this is the storage. As you can see, a lot of things here and there, all the boxes and everything. So I have the USW Flex Mini. This is where the cable from the USW 24 PoE connects to. And then there's a cable going to my uh, main desktop. So what I wanna do is replace this switch by the QNAP switch so that at least I am sure that I have a 2.5 gig between the NAS. Oh, the NAS, by the way, it won't be at the, at, the, at the rack. The NAS will be somewhere here along with all my other devices like the 3D printer and everything else. So I'm gonna put the NAS somewhere here so that it's going to connect to this switch at 2.5. And the switch will also connect to my desktop at 2.5 and then there'll be another cable going back to the main switch by the way i thought about having an access point that is uh, that has a 2.5 gig ethernet uh, port if i can find it so if i do i'll let you know but for now that's my goal it's um it's about upgrading a little bit i'm not going all the way to 10 gig but i will stay at 2.5 at least because that's what i have on the nas i will not do a test speed per se but if i have to uh, i'll let you know i'll show you what it looks like but for now before we actually install this let's go at micro center pick up the ssd that i bought and then we come back and continue the project look i'm in line with the stars i'm in sync with the earth child from the turf i never switch sides like even when i die i'm a ride for the squad let up ties in the hearse i've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe i'm in between i'm good and it's fine but i'm tired of the grind then i come alive in the night to realize i'm in the middle with a time of my life i never so packed for the stack never lied on the back got a bag from the way that i write it queen looking tyson do that i survived doing 80 to the house then i hit it to the sky change haters on a tirade Same. We all want to live like a 
This is the new SSD, the NVMe SSD that I just grabbed from Micro Center. It's a two terabyte, as you can see here, good speed in reading and writing as well. So I'm going to use it, as I said, on this NAS for my virtual machines, for my databases and everything else. So I don't have to mix all of that with my data on the hard drives. Before installing it in the NAS, I'm going to use the heat sink to make sure that it's gonna work properly without overheating or anything like that. So let's go ahead and open the NAS and put it in. Feel like I'm on one, settling, I'll be here for the long run. I'm a slave for the cash, got snakes in the grass, no breaks on the head, but it's all fun. We done seen it all, heard it all, heard enough, give me space for I murder y'all. Ten bad bitches here, I'ma curve them all, 12 minutes. Okay, so after the installation, this is what it looks like. So here we have the QNAP QSW already installed, and I have my desktop connected here. I have the new NAS connected on the port 5. As you can see, I moved my NAS from the rack to here. So now they are close to the switch so I can have the 2.5 gig bandwidth. And of course, the old NAS is right next to it. And it's connected here as well as the link that goes to the switch. I still keep the USW uh, Flex Mini because I need some VLANs on some links that I have here. So the USW Flex Mini is still in the game right next to the QSW but I'm thinking of upgrading my switch because I think I need at least two 10 gig ports on my switch so I don't know what I'm gonna go with but I will definitely get a new switch from either Ubiquiti or anything else and if you've been following me on Instagram you've seen a reel where I showed you why these two here are green because they're running 2.5 gig and these other two are amber because they run at one gig so that's how it is now and I put my NAS here so in the next video I'm going to show you how I'm going to copy or oh, first how I'm going to deploy this new NAS in my network and how I can have access to it from my MacBook my Windows my Android phone and my iPhone as well so we're gonna do that and then I'll show you how I'm going to copy all the data almost four terabyte that I have here in the new NAS and I'm going to use it. All right guys, that's what it looks like now in this room here, a little messy, but I'll have time to put some order here. And I thank you for watching. So if you like what I'm doing, like this video on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.